Alright, hey everybody, Mayo here, and today we're going to be playing some Pokemon Moon, doing some VGC 2017 battles on the Ranked Rating Championship Battle Spot Ladder. So, we found our first opponent with a rating of 1404. Uh, David from California, I believe is what it said. Uh, we are currently using a different team. This is the second place European International Championship team from the Junior Division. Featuring Oranguru, Tapu Lele, Marowak, Celestila, Gyarados, and Zerkatry. So it should be pretty fun. Um, our opponent here has Porygon 2 and Porygon Z. That's pretty interesting. Uh, uh, Golisopod, I think is the name of that one. Mimikyu. Um, Vikavolt, I think. And then a, not Oranguru, the other, the other monkey thing. Uh, so let's actually bring... Um... Let's see here. Maybe I could bring Oranguru, Marowak. Uh, he could reverse Trick Room though. Um, so maybe Gyarados. Do I have a reason to not lead Intimidate? I'm gonna go maybe Oranguru Gyarados. Oh, I don't know if I really like that. Um, hmm. Tricky because I don't really know what I want to bring against his team. Um, I think Celesteela. I think these are the four that I want to bring. Possibly Tapu Lele. I'm not entirely sure how I want to do this. So let's go ahead and go with these four and hopefully it'll work out. Not too sure how I'm supposed to, to use this team, but it does look like a lot of fun. And I am having quite a bit of fun featuring the Junior Division team, so I think what I might do is I might actually uh, do two different series. I might upload twice a day in the future and do my own team and then the Junior Division teams also. Because I, I would like to use my own team because I kind of have an idea of what I want to use. So here's what we can do here. Um, we could Trick Room. We could Trick Room here. I think that might be okay. Porygon Z could potentially... Uh, reverse the trick room. Maybe then we protect. Trick room protect. Um, hmm, possibly flare blitz into the Porygon Z. I think I'm gonna protect. I think I'm gonna trick room protect. I don't know if that's what I want to do. Maybe I should have went for like a flare blitz instruct. Oh, there's a rock slide. Okay, I'm glad I went for the the trick room protector because I don't actually know what the uh, that monkey thing does. Okay, Porygon Z is uh, going to use a Z move. What's, what's it going to do? Break necklace? Okay, I should be able to show that one. I think the only ones I can't show is Primarina and Eevee, I think. Okay, Orangu survive, then use a citrus berry. Okay, cool. We do get the trick room off. Um, so I think I'm gonna go for an instruct on my Marowak and a earthquake. Because I I'm pretty sure this Orangu is telepathy. I hope so. Tele telepathy. I'm pretty sure I just pronounced that wrong. Oops. Oh, uh-oh. I messed up. Protect, but it failed. Marowak used... Okay, so what I wanted to do is I was hoping that Mar Marowak would be faster. And I would get a double Earthquake off. But that was not the case. So, a little misplay on my part. I should have protected Oranguru there, but now I know. Ah, oh, we get frozen though. That sucks. And then he's going to go for another Rock Slide. Oranguru avoids it, but it'll probably knock out my Marowak. No, it doesn't. Wow, that does not do a lot of damage. Okay, so now we kind of have a better feeling of how this team works. Kind of, you know, we can Instruct. We'll be nice and fast. We'll get the Earthquake off, hopefully. We are frozen, though, so we don't know for sure if that's going to happen. Um, Porygon Z is going to Protect. Oranguru is frozen solid. Okay, so that's a bit unfortunate on our end. We are going to get this Earthquake off. 
We have Telepathy, so Earthquake's not going to harm our Pokemon. I don't think it's going to knock out that... What, how do you pronounce that? Passamian? Oh, it does knock it out because it's a crit. So that was nice. Otherwise, I don't think it would have knocked them out if we didn't get that crit. I'm pretty sure that crit mattered. Alright. So we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Hopefully we can get this team up to about 1600 like we did the previous team, and then hopefully instead of drop down like below 1500, that'd be... Hopefully we can stay at around the rank that we want to stay at. Okay, so let's instruct. We'll get the Earthquake off, as long as we don't get frozen. Um, And then if we Earthquake, then Flare Blitz into the Vicavolt, I think that would be... That would be perfect, because we'd be able to knock out the Porygon Z. Hopefully, as long as we break, you know, break from, break free from our frozen status on Oranguru, this will be a good play. That's what I'm feeling like. So that's what I'm gonna do. Assuming best case scenario, we break free from our frozen status. We instruct our Marowak. He gets the Earthquake off. <laughs> okay, cool. And then we go for a Flare Blitz. I actually really like the fact that my Marowak's faster now. Okay, and the Vicavolt has Levitate, so we're not too worried about that. Because we mainly wanted to knock out Porygon Z here. Because then I also went for the Flare Blitz into the Vicavolt. Okay, he's gonna Thunderbolt, but we have Lightning Rod, so that's, that's fine. And then we Flare Blitz. Wow, Oranguru Marowak with Earthquake. I actually really like this. like it a lot more than I expected to. With the telepathy and the instruct, it just... It's just it just seems really strong. Okay, so there's Mimikyu. What can we do here? Um, I don't really want to instruct here. So I think I'm just going to Psychic Mimikyu. And then Shadow Bone Mimikyu, because um, hopefully Oranguru will go first. Oh, he has Shadow Sneak. Okay, but it doesn't affect Oranguru due to my normal typing. So that's good for me. We break the Disguise, and the Shadow Bone should be super effective. And I hope it's enough to one-hit knockout. Okay, I don't think it will be after seeing that berry. But maybe, you never know. Okay, it is. Cool. Alright, so we were able to pick up a nice victory for our first game featuring the second place junior division team from the European Internationals. Um, unfortunately, I do not know the names of these people, and I don't think I'm going to be saying them. So, I just kind of know the teams. Uh, I could probably look up the names off the website, I think, off the Pokemon website. But, I'm not going to do that. You guys can do that if you are very if you're interested. Um, would you like to save this battle? No, we would not. That's okay. So we're gonna go ahead and go into our second battle. So I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, and we found our second opponent from Japan with a rating of 1601. So hopefully we can pick up a win here. We are going against a Tapu Bulu, Mimikyu, Lilligant, Torkoal, Gengar, and Tapu Lele. So it looks like. Potential to trick room from the Mimikyu, um, but I would assume possibly more of like a Lilligant Torkoal lead. So I think possibly a Gyarados lead here with a Gyarados Marowak lead doesn't seem too bad actually against my opponent. Um, then I'm thinking bring Celesteela. And I kind of want to bring Oranguru. Uh, Tapu Lele, I don't think, will help me out too much against this team. Uh, Zerkatry could be useful, but I'm don't, I don't think I'm going to bring Zerkatry either. I think Oranguru will actually do better, because then I have access to, like, reverse the Trick Room. But then again, I am pretty new to this format, so I could be way off on a lot of this stuff. Oh!
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, the burglar alarm type system went off, but uh, everything's fine. So, <laughs> we led Gyarados Marowak against our opponent with a Torkoal Lilligan. So we actually led pretty pretty strong here. Um, I'm kind of thinking possibly go for a Dragon Dance here and a. I could Earthquake, but I think Flare Blitzing into the Lilligan is fine. Uh, I'm a little actually, you know what? No, 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 no. Let's, um, let's protect. Ah, oh, crap. I wanted to protect and Flare Blitz the Lilligan. But unfortunately, due to that alarm, I went, had to go check, make sure everything was fine real quick. Uh, Torque will protect, so I should have Dragon Danced. I should have Dragon Danced. He does go for a sleep powder probably on Marowak, so okay. Okay, we can we can work around this, I think. We can work around this, I think. Um, what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? How do I how do I come back from this bad situation that I am in due to the bad first turn? So I should have went with my original plan of dragon dancing and flare blitzing. Because at least I would have got a dragon dance up. Um, let's actually switch out into Orangaroo, because I think if we can get a Trick Room up, we'll be okay. And then let's let's try and Flare Blitz. I mean, we're probably not going to get the Flare Blitz off, but if for some odd reason Marowak wakes up first turn, I'm pretty sure you're like guaranteed one turn of sleep if you land it, though. He withdraws Torkoal. Okay, that actually works out just fine for me. Because I switched in a Ranguru, so I don't have to worry too much about about a lot of this stuff. Okay, what can we do? What can we do? Marowak, Marowak wakes up. Okay, cool. We get the Flare Blitz off. So Lilligan is going to go down. I don't have to worry too much about sleep anymore, so I'm very happy about that. I am very happy about that. Um, okay. I do have to take into consideration that Gengar is faster than Marowak at this point. So what I want to do is I want to get Trick Room off right here. I definitely want to do that. Um, I think protecting one turn with Marowak is good. Because if I can protect with Marowak and get Trick Room off and then go for possibly a earthquake instruct that kind of stuff okay there's the shadow ball I kind of anticipated that a the moon blast probably into a ranguru we can eat that nicely so we can take another well a special attack but okay yeah we can definitely take another one of those unfortunately we're still asleep um I think we still try and set up the trick room and then I think switching out into Celesteela here would threaten both of these two Pokemon quite a bit. So let's do that. I think this will force Tapu Lele out. I think it'll force Tapu Lele out. There's a Shadow Ball. We knew that was going to happen though. And then there's the Moon Blast into a Ranguru. Um, unfortunately, we cannot eat another one of those, so I really need a Ranguru to wake up here. Actually, maybe we can eat another one with the uh, the Citrus Berry. I think we might be able to eat one more. But we are threatening that Tapu Lele to switch out, so that's good on our part. Because I obviously want to get this Trick Room up. Like, this is... If I can get this Trick Room up, I think I have a very good shot at winning. Then I'm going to Heavy Slam the Tapu Lele, just on the off chance that it stays in. But I have a, a good hunch that it would switch into, into Torkoal. This Torkoal would resist Heavy Slam, right? Torkoal would resist Heavy Slam. Um, maybe we Leech Seed the Gengar. we rock slide the, no I think we just heavy slam the tapu lele just on the off chance that it stays in 
because at least even if it switches out into Torkoal, we can do some damage to it. Ooh, Thunderbolt. Onto Celesteela. I did not expect that. Okay. Tapu Lele. Okay, Tapu Lele is not choice. He's going to take out Celesteela. Very scared of that Pokemon. A Protector would have been very good on my end. Aranguru is still asleep? Oh, that's so bad. I If I would have woke up there, I could have... I could have dealt with that. Um, see, what I want to do now is I really want to switch in. I really want Marowak out on the field. What I really needed to happen there was a Ranguru to wake up and get the Trick Room off. Then sell a Steal a Fainting wouldn't have mattered so much. But let's see, Gyarados. I switch Gyarados in. I'm gonna switch Marowak in. I'm gonna switch Marowak in. Cause at least, well, hmm. Man, it, it could have worked out last turn was maybe a, a Rangaroo swap into Marowak getting that lightning. Wow, that would have been really good call if I would have done that, but I didn't know they were carrying lightning bolt. Uh, I really need this trick room to go off. And I think at this point oh uh, man I think just going for the earthquake and risking it might be my best bet I think going for the earthquake and risking it might be my best bet I'm gonna do it I I'm not sure how I can recover at this point because I think I lost okay I'm sledge bomb on a Ranguru then moonblast on a Ranguru he's taking a Ranguru out so I'm not going to get the Trick Room up, but I did go for an Earthquake, so I think I'll be taking out the Gengar unless it's Focus Sashed, which it most likely is. Okay. And I know with Marowak up, I have the Lightning Rod ability. So maybe I should set up a Dragon Dance here and go for like another Earthquake. Should I do that? I think I should do that. I think setting up a Dragon Dance here and going for another Earthquake is actually what I have to do. There's the Sludge Bomb onto Gyarados. We do get a Dragon Dance up, but we might be going down here. Sidekick into Gyarados. Okay. There's an Earthquake. Uh, if I would have went for a Waterfall into Tapu Lele instead of the Dragon Dance... Well, oh wait, we knocked Tapu Lele out. Okay. Uh, Earthquake was disabled. Uh-oh. That is not something I wanted to see. I should have waterfalled Gengar, knowing that there was a possibility for my Earthquake to be disabled. Because now, I cannot Earthquake the Torkoal. I'm gonna protect one turn. I'm gonna protect one turn. I'm gonna try and, because I think it's five turns of disable. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to protect, because protect's not disabled. So it should have waterfalled one of the opposing Pokemon, the, uh, the Gengar, obviously. It looks like he went for a flamethrower in the sun. Um, unfortunately, Earthquake's disabled. I could Earthquake, I think I'd have a very good chance at winning. So let's just, uh, let's just Shadow Bone here. Pretty sure I ended up losing. We can Shadow Bone. How much damage? Um, we might, if we survive a hit. What was that? A Citrus Berry? Wow, I did not expect a Citrus Berry. Okay, so. Okay, okay. Um, 
I'm gonna protect again. Like I said, I'm gonna try and get to a position where I can use Earthquake. I'm gonna protect again, try and stall out a little bit of his uh, his power points, and try and get back into a position where I can use Earthquake. Because if I can use Earthquake, okay, Marowak's move is no longer disabled. I think that's a win now for me. Because I'm faster. And Shadow Bone did that much damage, whereas Earthquake is super effective, so we are able to pick up a win. Wow, that that second game was a couple of misplays on my part, but I was able to recover. So I am pretty happy with that. Able to beat a 1600 rated player from Japan. Oh, that was a bad start there too with the uh, alarm going off, but at least at least it was a recoverable bad start. All right, uh, would you like to see this, video, this battle video? No thanks. So thanks for watching though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy, go into that like button, comment, subscribe, share, favorite, all that good stuff. It really does help me out and I really do appreciate when you guys do that. So thanks again and goodbye friends.